Hello, this is Nitin Dahad with The Times. I'm here at uh, CES 2020 in Las Vegas. I'm, I'm with Case Lynx, who's the general manager of the wireless connectivity for Corvo. Hello, Case. Hey, hey nice, nice to be here. So, um, I'd like to ask you a few questions around what we, yeah, this hall is all around smart home here. And, all around um, smart home. Uh, based on some of the new products being announced at CES, what do you think consumers uh, are wanting from their connected or smart home? There are a few big developments going on um, in, the, in the market in general. 5G, everybody's talking about 5G. So let's put 5G aside. There is a big event going on in the smart home uh, and it starts with the new generation Wi-Fi. It's called Wi-Fi 6. Mm. It's uh, going up to close to 10 gigabit per second and it really creates a high performance in the home. Now, on top of that, the high performance in the home, it also provides very good range. Remember that you had the repeaters that yes. you have to place everywhere? Yes. Well, in the new infrastructure in Wi-Fi 6, it is all part of one, one kind of configuration. So you have Wi-Fi 6 that takes care of coverage in your whole home from the bottom to the ceiling, from the, uh, from the basement to the top of the house. Uh, so, yeah, with your Wi-Fi and IoT solutions, yeah, for the smart home, you're probably seeing some of the challenges that your customers are, are finding in, um, and, yeah, and what are you helping them to solve? Yeah, part of the smart home uh, is also the support of IoT. And separate to Wi-Fi, Corvo also has an IoT chip portfolio that is integrated with Wi-Fi. So the Wi-Fi 6 infrastructure now also becomes an infrastructure for your IoT. And when I'm talking about IoT, I mean Zigbee, I mean Bluetooth. So here is the interesting thing. You buy a piece of equipment. You don't know whether it's Wi-Fi or whether it's Zigbee or whether it's Bluetooth. It doesn't even matter. Your Wi-Fi 6 infrastructure in the home can talk to all these devices because what it's is- It's inherent in the chip. It's inherent in the chip and in the technology that Wi-Fi 6 now is not only the backbone for high-speed data communication, but it's also the backbone for uh, sensors and for actuators that are the, the, the core of the IoT. And will you see a lot of uh, proliferation of sensors then because of that? Or? You see a lot of uh, IoT applications. They are all one-offs. And I'm sure in your cell phone, you have probably 10 IoT applications. For every application, you have something. And we are in the early stage of the IoT. When the smart home has a connectivity for and Wi-Fi and for all IoT devices, you go to a store, you buy an IoT device, and you don't know whether it's Wi-Fi or Zigbee or Bluetooth. It connects to your infrastructure and it connects to the internet. And you don't even have to worry about it. So, and I think that is the big breakthrough that the market has been waiting for. How do we get a uniform infrastructure? And I can tell you, Many of the operators are looking at this concept to really provide seamless connectivity in between their Between cellular and Wi-Fi? No, no, between IoT and Wi-Fi. Oh, IoT and Wi-Fi, okay. Cellular, it's a good point. Mm. There's another, another switch from outdoor to indoor and a seamless connectivity there to there. But what I'm talking about here is from IoT to Wi-Fi and vice versa. How do you see the smart home and IoT involve, evolving in the next few years and can you predict uh, some te technology advances. I, I wrote a piece, um, or actually somebody else wrote the piece, but I published it talking about Wi-Fi 9 within the next 10 years. <laughs> but give me your shorter term. I'm, I'm in the industry. Uh, in uh, My first presentation on Wi-Fi was in 1988. Wow. So uh, more than 30 years ago. Uh, the, the big Wi-Fi launch was in 1999 with Apple, okay. where we had sold Wi-Fi to Apple and really, you know, looked at a market breakthrough with the Apple Airport, you probably remember. This year we celebrated uh, 20 years Wi-Fi. Right. That is the real celebration. Now, if you think about it, the first Wi-Fi was two megabit per second. Yes. The current Wi-Fi 6 is seven, eight, nine gigabit per second. Mm. In 20 years time, the data rate has gone up a factor of 1,000, a factor of 2,000, 3,000. So if you would ask me, you know, what are we talking about in 20 years from now? I can only, I can only guess, right? Let me, let me talk about your home in five years from now. Yeah. Your home in five years from now is 
has seamless connectivity capability in every room for every device. And you don't even know what type of technology you are using. That is the view and the vision that we have for wireless connectivity and you will not even recognize compared to today. Invisible wireless. A sort of invisible <laughs> wireless. And in the real sense. Um, okay, so CES is a big show for you, I guess. Right. I saw like you've made quite a few announcements. We made, um, we can you maybe highlight some, some of the important ones and, right. and why they're significant? Let's categorize them a little. Okay. Uh, there's one announcement in the area of Wi-Fi 6 and Wi-Fi 6E, the next generation of Wi-Fi in the 6 gigahertz. Uh, the second group of announcements we made is in particular in the, in the front-end modules, because you want range, you want uh, reliability, you also want small boxes, so you don't want to have sensitivity big. sensitivity as well then? You want to have good sensitivity, yeah. so all these things, so we have a series of announcements of Wi-Fi 6 related components and products that we are playing there and, and, and front-end modules. And I think the, uh, uh, another flagship announcement is we have a chip that does, that talks Bluetooth and Zigbee at the same time. So essentially it works like you talk in one language to that chip and the chip recognizes what language you're talking. And then it just communicates back in that language so, automatically, seamlessly. Can I ask you a question? Is that a uh, silicon switch or is that some artificial intelligence because we're all using artificial intelligence it now. is it is not a silicon switch and it is not artificial intelligence it is recognizing the nature of the communication okay so there's a little bit of processing there. there's a, a little bit of processing very early on the receive of the package because you need to receive the whole package Correct. and you want to know at the beginning of the package what type of thing it is uh, whether it's bluetooth or zigbee so, so there's that, and then what else? And, and that's a real a flagship announcement because it, it makes it irrelevant if uh, there's a little bit of a war going on, you know, Zigbee or Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. With this whole concept, it doesn't even matter as long as you have that chip in your configuration. Where the war ends up, you will be, uh, what is it, ready for the future. You'll be future-proof. So it's effectively like in the past we were developing multi-mode modems for cellular. It, it's it's the it's the same, but then for indoor. For indoor, right? Correct. It's the same for indoor. And that's quite important because then you can bring the cost down as well. Yeah. Uh, the, the the cost is totally down. It's fully integrated. You don't need separate gateways to connect to routers. They'll be all integrated in one box. Okay. And were there any other big announcements here uh, for you? Well, is this not big enough? <laughs> Well, yeah, I think I saw about three or four announcements, so I thought maybe... Yeah, yeah. well, I, that's why I, I grouped them and classified them. Okay. You know, Corvo is a, a big player in Wi-Fi 6 and also in 5G, and okay. we have we have announcement in 5G as, uh, as well. Okay. And, you know, in, in, the, in, in, in the way we look at 5G and Wi-Fi 6 is they're very complementary. Uh, outdoor, you have 5G. Indoor, you have Wi-Fi 6. Switching is seamless. And Corvo is the company that can make this all together into uh, one coherent solution. Thank you very much, Case. So this is uh, Nitin Dahad from E-Times wrapping up uh, with uh, Case Links of Corvo at uh, CES 2020. Thank you very much.